Okay. Well, that didn't take Lisa very long now, did it? Let's see if I can follow the vibe that I was just on. Um, we, I just brought uh, to everyone's attention, we sort of made a makeshift altar. Our first card was the Six of Wands. Uh, I'm doing seven decks on seven. Um, my second one was interesting that I got Julia Jeffries' seventh card, Seven of Wands. And these silly fairies, look where they took us, back to the six again. If you reduce that down, we're back to six. So they posed to us that perhaps uh, the answer is in the question. Um, the sounds that we hear in the background are fawn. Fawn and their hurdy-gurdy and their amazingness. Um, sorry if the camera isn't holding still because uh, this fills my heart with love. And I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. Um, many, many, many trips to Eugene, Oregon, um, to fairy worlds, to meet the very person who drew these, to hang out with the very person who painted those. Um, very emotional, very awesome place. I hope everyone in Oregon is okay right now. Um, damn, what sound can do to you in your soul, it's amazing. Um, the deck that I pulled out for the fourth power is a fellow tattoo artisan. Um, I met her at convention in Oregon. Um, well, I guess first I could introduce this rock. I wanted a piece of Oregon in my life. So I was looking on Etsy at some gems and this particular one stood out to me. Uh, very interesting, looks all chiseled like a, not unlike a, um, a sword blade or what have you. But uh, when I got it, it turns out the seller's name is Athena Hart. And Athena Hart is a sale uh, person who treads her wares at Fairy Worlds and I actually own some of her artwork. And so it was, in, it's just another like small world story. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm full of small world stories. So it's a small world after all. And my piece of Oregon is right there. The sounds of fawn, which are in an entirely different language, are going on back there. I'm sure they'll, you know, get rid of this video in the future because I brought music into it. I've still got a dash of white light going and a bit of white sage. Um, okay, so back to the deck. Fourth deck, eight, uh, eight coins. Her name is Laura. Um, all of these drawings are by her. So we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're going into the tattoo world. All of my worlds are combining right now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And here we go with the magic of seven. Let's see what the tattoo world has to bring to us today. Ooh, look at us go. Oh, holy shit, guys, check it out. That she explained to me, this is an old deck of hers. You can get this on Amazon now, but you're not gonna get it like this. Um, she explained to me that this is the order that she drew these in. So this was the seventh piece of art that she created for this eight coins deck of these 78 cards. And that alone, therein lies the magic of this. Tiny little redhead doing her thing and we're on to eight. And oh, it was the magician that I got yesterday uh, with his little infinite eight above him. Um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you can go back and prove that to yourselves. But um, I'm feeling uh, a little bit more detached, a little bit more childlike, uh, very excited that these are the tools that I've been using for 27 plus years of tattooing. And now it took a viral lockdown for me to <laughs> admit it to everybody. Okay, fourth deck down, eighth card. Therein lies the question, where is she gonna go next? 